Hello, Michael. Great to have you back again, our masculine, feminine expert and insightful advisor on all topics relationship. Thank you so much for being here. Today, you are going to tell us why some people behave in a negative way when actually what they mean to do is calling out for love. Tell us about that. That's a big thing. It is, first of all, thanks a lot for being here and, and allowing me to be here also. Um, I always appreciate our connections and speaking with each other now. Is we often perceive negative behavior as negative behavior itself. Mm. So we respond with the same manner. <clears throat> if someone's feeling bitter, we often get bitter back. If someone's being a bit mm, unkind we might be tempted to be unkind back if someone's feeling a bit angry we might tend to flare up back and so we can get defensive but one of the things we have to realize and see is that each type of negative behavior is a call for love um i remember once hearing a story of a of a student who approached a, a great wise sage and he said what's the a main need of each person and the sage thought for a moment and said no there's actually two needs everybody is to give love and to receive love and so when we are starving, we do anything to fulfill that need. Just like a normal hung hunger. Mm -hmm. When we're hungry, and I mean really hungry, we may even sacrifice cooking up a big meal and just have a couple of bites. You know, we just get something. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so in a similar way, when we're starving with love, and a lot of people are starved with love, we often act in a proud or greedy or angry or egotistical way, which is simply an expression or calling. It's a cry for love. So if a person acts in a negative way, but towards you, and especially in a relationship, right? A relationship means that you're both voluntarily choosing to connect with each other in a special way, irregardless of others. Um, then the question you have to ask yourself is what is the love factor I need to address here and where is this person experiencing a lack of love that I wish to help them or just help facilitate with them so that's an important question that we should try to ask ourselves where, where's the love factor here what's missing mm, interesting so as a woman I can say that most often my biggest frustration is when it feels like he doesn't care like he mm. is like work is more important friends are more important whatever exercise regime he's on at the time is more important um how is that a cry for love it's a cry for love because our our essence is that of love our summoned substance is that of love and what we strive for ultimately is for love if you think about it anything you do Anything we're looking to achieve ultimately is looking for an expression of love. You can go to work, you work for some money, money for some security, security to build a foundation, either in your relationship or in a relationship with someone so that you can experience an exchange with them. Mm. Um, we may be sexually intimate with someone and often that may be a call for love, a call for connection, a call for some sort of interaction, a call for some mutual exclusivity where it's just you and that person and there's that attention and that focus mm. uh going out walking anything you do in some way shape or form is to try to give and receive love and if we find that we're not receiving the love that we believe that we deserve emotionally we may adopt strategies and methods that externally seem really maybe selfish or self-interested but deep down if you address the love factor you'll find that they stop i'll give you one quick example i remember my one of my mentors was given a lecture in a class <laughs> and there was someone who kept regularly calling out and um uh, he was um quoting different literatures histories and stuff like that and then my mentor was speaking and he out of it and then all he said, you know, most people go, excuse me, can you stop calling out and speaking? All he said is, hey, we've got a scholar in the room. At that moment, he immediately stopped. Because he, he was being acknowledged. He was being acknowledged. Nice. <laughs> he has been acknowledged. And you'll find in a masculine nature, that acknowledgement is what will help 
to bring that genuine satisfaction and love that they're looking to mm. experience. Interesting, interesting. Is there a, a distinction between the dating phase though and a committed relationship? Because if someone doesn't show up for me and prioritizes everything else in a dating phase, I think the meaning behind that is probably different than when we're in a committed relationship and he works a lot potentially for providing, right? Good question. But within the dating phase, is the dating phase and a committed phase is supposed to be one matura is a maturation of one another, right? So mm -hmm. Just because you're dating, like, okay, there's a difference between going up and beyond and having the basic, your basic needs acknowledged and respected. So in the dating phase, the question that I'd be asking is, is this person within their capacity trying to put reasonable effort in terms of their attitude to connect with me? And are what's important to them also quite important to me? And if it's not important to me, do they respect those differences? Mm -hmm. So yes, you're right. There is a difference between the dating stage and the committed stage, but still even within the dating stage, there are certain signs that you're looking for that if you ignore them, they can often cause problems in the future. Absolutely. So in terms of if he is someone who tends to be just very, very busy with all his own projects, that's not going to change down the track. Doesn't necessarily mean he doesn't love me unless he really doesn't prioritize me at all. But, um, but if it matures into it, don't expect suddenly for someone to have much more time for you when they didn't in the first place. Yeah. And that's a great, and you know what happens? What what can happen is you ignore that and then you start blaming the person for being busy with the projects. They were busy that's before. Right. They were always <laughs> busy. That's right. That's right. And especially with guys, what I've learned is like, just take them literal and buy their word. It's like, if they say I'm busy, they are busy. They wouldn't say it if they wasn't. Yeah, exactly. Generally speaking. And, and you're right. It's, it's what, what I think is beneficial, which you, I, think, I feel like you was alluding to also, is I think it's really important to roughly take a person as they're presenting themselves, both in their words and behavior, mm. don't focus on how you can potentially change them. Oh God, no. The older because you get as a woman, really the more you learn that. <laughs> yeah, just take them as they are. And, and almost you almost want to assume in your mind, this person, just almost assume in the mind, this person will never change. Can you still live with that version of them? Yeah. And and assume that I'm not here and sometimes I'm not even responsible for that person changing. Right? Then you want to ask yourself the question, based on the basic lifestyle, nature and their ability to deal with their past hurt and pain and their ability to step into conflicts now, is that going to grant me the level of satisfaction and happiness that I'm looking for in a relationship? And, and is it something that I can also give to as well? Yeah. So those are two very important factors. But yeah, the key thing is definitely to understand that all types of negative behavior, regardless of the expression of them, is because there's a factor of love that's missing. Mm -hmm. And that's what they're looking for. They may be looking for it in the wrong way, perhaps even in the wrong person. Yeah. But there's a lack of deep self-love and love for love in general as well. Yeah. And I want to put a disclaimer here just because um, before we finish, that does not mean that we have to always accept that and roll with it, especially when it comes to abusive behavior in relationships, when it comes to like the really dark stuff. We absolutely don't have to stick around just because no, the poor person, the poor other person is crying out for love by you know beating you up or something like if that's the case we can acknowledge that yes there is probably some underlying real deep hurt when it comes to love doesn't mean you have to stick around and cater for that forever more so you know we have to see like does it meet my needs is it good for me is this relationship actually healthy and moving just wanted to put that there before we finish up so that nobody takes that the wrong way and sticks around because, oh, he's beating me. That must mean he is so starved of love that he doesn't know better. Yeah, no. Definitely, it's, it's, a, it's a very crucial and important point. And as um, the 
Swami puts it in his um in in, in one of the books that he reads for spiritual Word too. He says yes, someone who's an aggressor is certainly starved and lacking love. Certainly, mm -hmm. however, in those situations, when we know that there is no possibility of change, we must love them from a distance. Because if we allow ourselves to remain in that situation, we are simply accepting and rewarding that type of behavior and not allowing them to understand that actually mm, that type of behavior is not necessary or, 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 or is very untoward towards other humans. And so the, the most loving thing, or shall I say the most unloving thing in some situations we can do is to stay in a relationship. <laughs> Absolutely, absolutely. Because if anything, staying in something like this is a deep reflection of our own lack of self-love as well. Um, so there's our homework, if that is any of us. Anyway, thank you so much, Michael, for your insights, as always, very enlightening and very interesting. And we'll see you again soon, I trust. Um, if you have enjoyed watching this video, of course, you can follow our channel. As always, hit the follow button and then press the um, bell button if you like if you want to get updates when we are next releasing content share whatever questions you have whatever thoughts you have in the comments below and um, thank you very much for watching we'll see you again soon thank you